what does our government know about the UFO mystery? One longtime intelligence official has seen more of the Pentagon files than anyone. He is the only military man to work on three major UFO investigations, including one based here in Las Vegas. The official is Jay Stratton, and he has never spoken in public or even granted an interview, that is, until he sat down with our very own George Knapp of our 8 News Now investigators. When a mysterious object dubbed the Tic Tac UFO befuddled U.S. Navy aviators and sensors off the coast of San Diego in 2004, the incident was dropped, not investigated. The first in-depth probe happened five years later under the auspices of a then-secretive program called OSAP, the Advanced Aerospace Weapons Systems Application Program, created by the Defense Intelligence Agency with black budget funding spearheaded by Nevada Senator Harry Reid. Tic Tac was the first UFO incident tackled by OSAP and its contractor, Las Vegas aerospace pioneer Robert Bigelow. The report was released by us in 2018. Jay Stratton is the man who wrote it. Every time I've done anything related to UAP or UFO has been my job. Um, and, and what I mean by that, I didn't really have a, a passion growing up. I didn't have all the books. I didn't watch all the TV shows. Um, I stepped into a job. I, at the Defense Intelligence Agency where uh, some things came across the desk. From 2008 until 2021, pretty much everything UFO related came across Jay Stratton's desk. He made the decision to ditch the term UFO and use UAP instead, unidentified aerial phenomena. Stratton worked at the highest levels of naval intelligence, then was loaned to the DIA, where he excelled at reverse engineering. He and his colleague, rocket scientist Dr. James Lakatsky, kept seeing reports of unknown craft, but learned there was no central location where such mysteries were being analyzed. You know, all the stories you hear, right, there's probably in the, the office that, that deals with this. And as we tried to find that office, we found nothing. So they created one. Stratton's colleague, Dr. Lakatsky, had been reading about a UFO hotspot nicknamed Skinwalker Ranch. After a visit to the Utah property, Lakatsky pitched the creation of a formal investigation. Harry Reid agreed to fund it. Robert Bigelow landed the contract. Stratton consulted with the OSAP program and then with its successor, ATIP. When the head of ATIP, Lou Elizondo, resigned and revealed its existence to the New York Times in 2017, Stratton was asked by his boss if he he jumped back in and cobbled together a new program. He did. And that effort was eventually formalized by Congress with a new name, the UAP Task Force. One of Stratton's projects was the creation of a comprehensive but classified briefing that included UAP videos and photos collected by the military. Most of those images are still unreleased, but a few objects encountered off the East Coast and even stranger objects buzzing Navy ships on the West Coast were leaked, then publicized. Stratton scoffs at the debunkers who tried to explain them away as flares or drones or birds. Oh, splash. Splash. Splashed. So there's a lot of cleanup to do when, when, you, when you have a lot of these people saying it's birds or whatever they're saying. Um, it's frustrating because you know the rest of the story and you can't tell the rest of the story. In 2021, Stratton left the task force, but his work formed the basis of a stunning report to Congress. Stratton's chief scientist was Dr. Travis Taylor, now well known for his television appearances. Of 144 incidents investigated by the task force, 143 were considered unidentified. Stratton and Taylor now work for Radiance Technologies, a defense contractor with offices in 17 states, including Nevada. When Stratton and Taylor showed up in the audience of an Alabama UAP conference last summer, UFO circles were abuzz with questions about what their employer might be up to. Filmmaker Jeremy Corbell brought his cameras to record our interviews. Stratton admitted there are still more questions than answers. You probably remember the infamous quote from Congress that let's hope it's aliens. George Knapp, 8 News Now.